2019 Incheon International Airport Skydome. And uh, what a wonderful men's doubles we just witnessed. Wonderful performance uh, by Gosi Fei and Isudin from Malaysia. The young pair, they did not win against uh, the favourite pair from uh, Korea, Choi and Seal, but we were seeing a very, very good match. 2-1 in set in games. We're turning our attention to women's singles. Sayaka Takahashi uh, from uh, Japan versus uh, Rachinov Intanon from Thailand. We will focus on the uh, top half, the uh, first quarter. Where Yamaguchi, the uh, top seed, had to give a walk over to Fitriani Fitriani from Indonesia, and then she lost to Sayaka Takahashi. And uh, Rachinov Intanon had a very safe passage through to this uh, quarter final. And as you can see, the winner will play either Tai Su Ying of Chinese Taipei, the world rank number one, or Gregoria Mariska Tunjun of Indonesia. to enter the court and uh, we're going to witness a uh, rematch if you can say that uh, it's a repeat of uh, last week's quarterfinal in China Open where Takahashi Sayaka Takahashi won in three games against uh, Rachinog Intanen she lost the first 21-14, but then won 21-14, 22-20. She had a wonderful tournament, Asayaka Takahashi, last week and got to the semi-final. And uh, for a player who is uh, ranked outside the top ten, in uh, the women's singles, that's a very good result. She has moved up three places since uh, last week to number 13. And as you can see, the head-to-head -head is in a favour of Rachinok Intanon. This is the ninth meeting between the two, and it's a 5-3 Rachinok Intanon. But obviously, as I just mentioned, Sayaka Takahashi won the last encounter between these two, which was just last week. And uh, here we've got Sayaka Takahashi, age 27. Her highest ranking is uh, 10, and she achieved that first time on the 9th of August 2018. And she has spent three weeks in total as a number 10 over two different spells. At the moment, she is a number 13 as well on the HSBC race to Guangzhou, where only at the top eight qualifies. She beat Fitriani Fitriani very comfortably yesterday in the round two and uh, against Elisha Ray, the... Uh, Olympic champion from 2012. Lee Ray had to retire in that uh, second game. <laughs> Our opponent of today, Rachinov Intanon, world champion 2013, twice runners up at the All England. And she got a bronze at the recent world championship in Basel. And uh, this year, 2019, this tournament here, this quarterfinal she's playing, is number 12 just in 2019. That's 
extraordinary. She has played so well this year. And as you can see, her way to this quarterfinal has been an easy patchage. Yesterday against Ohori from Japan, winning 21-4, 21-13 against a very good player. She has spent two weeks as a world number one, and that was back in April 2016. And uh, on the HSBC race to Guangzhou, she is number two. To and on play. the race to Tokyo, which is next year's Olympics, she is number three. The umpire for this match is uh, Lisa James from England. And uh, the service judge is uh, Kim Hwang Yuk of Korea. So watching Rachel Aginton on this, always such a, a pleasure. The way she plays, she's a very, very smooth player. Elegant technique and movement on court. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, opponent is uh, an aggressive Thailand. thinking player who likes to attack. On my left, Sayaka Kakashi, Japan. Rachinok Intanon to serve. Laval, play. So Intanon gets us on the way. Love all play. Good pace from uh, first rally. Sayaka Takahashi has got a world, four World Tour wins. The best result was winning the Singapore Open last year, the Super 500. And all four wins came in 2018. No wins in 2019 so far, but very much in form right now. It was a wonderful week last week for her. And I think... Uh, Part of the success last week was the fact that she was able to cut down on uh, a lot of her unforced areas, errors, like a shot like this, not Three, pushing them out on the back line and smashing out on the sidelines and so on. She really kept a solid game last week, so let's see if she can keep it up this week. Intanon, on the other hand, has been extremely steady. Her 12th quarter-final this year. And she's off to a flying start, four love up. Four love. Yeah, good play by Takahashi. Adding good pressure on the backhand side here. Look at that. Intanon totally out of balance. Just like in tennis. Smashing down the line where the play is coming from. It's always very tricky to get back. These are the unforced errors Six, I was uh, talking about earlier, the last two points. It's been uh, unforced errors from uh, Sayaka Takahashi, and she really, really needs 
to cut down on those. Same combination as previously. The attack down the line on the backhand side. And Intanon comes very nicely out of trouble. Good reverse slice drop shot here from the around the head situation. Perfect execution. Setting up a five point gap, 7-2. And that's out. Bad luck for Interland. Four, seven. One of her favourite shots. out. The idea was great, that cross-court defensive shot there from Eight, Takahashi. Four. See, she's smiling. She knew that would have been a very, very good shot had it been in. A shot like that in my book will not go down in an, as an unforced error. That was really trying to create a good attacking shot from a difficult situation. 8-4. in that's call in Ten, and just one point away from uh, the mid game interval Eleven, four, interval. so far flawless from Rachel Gintman goes into the mid game interval with a lead of 11-4 The youngest ever to win the World Junior Championship in 2009, when she was only 14 years of age. So it's good to see that uh, Sayaka Takahashi is uh, back in the game because she had to leave the Olympics in 2016 with a very, very serious injury. And she's fought her way back. And uh, one of the people that really supported her very, very well was his sister. And her sister is Ayaka Takahashi, who became the Olympic champion in the women's doubles with the uh, Itani Matsutomo in 2016. So a very sporting family. Yeah, that's well in.
Yeah, good play by Interman. Who I think over the last five. year or so have developed to become a more aggressive player, likes uh, to attack more. And uh, wants to play past Babington. And here, Save once again, the favourite shot from uh, Sayaka Takahashi. She loves to attack down the backhand side of uh, the opponent, right handers, where there is cross court as what we just saw here, or where there is straight down the line from the around the head oh. situation. Same thing, likes to attack that uh, backhand side Seven. of the right hander. a lovely, lovely shot from Inton and that spinning net shot there. Seven. Impossible for Takahashi to get back. But she is putting herself a little bit in trouble by playing that cross court of the net. It's almost surgical precision from Intonan, 16-7 up. see a small Save smile on the face of Intonan and that's why she knows as well as what I just mentioned previously that uh, Takahashi she really favours to attack that backhand side. Yeah, it's out on the sideline. I think uh, the Rats line judge is correct but let's see what Hawkeye is saying. out on the sideline in on the on the back line but out on the sideline This game, the opening game nine. in this women's singles, turns out to be a formality for Rachina Gintanen. 18 9 up and not under pressure at all. Looks very comfortable on court. Can't say the same for her opponent at the moment, Sayaka Takahashi. Too many on first errors coming. And here, yet another one. Long on the back line. Takahashi had a good 2018, as I mentioned earlier. Won four tournaments. The Swiss Open, Super 3. New Zealand Open, Super 3. Singapore Open, Super 500. And then Akita Masters in Japan, the Super 100 tournament. This year, not been able to win any. 
tournaments, but what a wonderful performance last week in China when she got to that semi-final. Rajanag Internet took this opening game in just 13 minutes, 21-9. So we are very soon ready to begin the uh, second game. So we're going to take a hash. He just wants the court to be mopped a little bit extra before we get underway. A very classy performance from uh, Rajanog Intanen here in the opening game. Did leave very little doubt. there on the back line by Takahashi. That's out. Three, and one. a little bit better start here in the second game for Sayaka Takahashi. 3 1 up. Needs to find uh, uh, aggressive play. And really start putting some pressure on uh, Interman. it. Good cross-court attack shot there. Over. From the around the head Four, situation, uh, a little bit unusual shot as I mentioned earlier. She favours to go down the line on that one but good variation. And perhaps we're going to see a completely different Takahashi here in the second game.
and so often I think we have an example here of uh, a player have won very, very convincingly in the opening game. He's sort of not really ready from the beginning of the second game and suddenly the opponent is launching this attack and it's very difficult to get back into it. You have to be very careful, you have to be very focused even when you win a first opening game as easily as what we saw Intenon do in the first game here. That's way out on the back line. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over. Three, so I think six. that will go down as a tactical challenge. Because that was way out the back line. It's interesting that uh, Intenon is not uh, trying to play a little bit more aggressive because when she's just lifting to the back line, of course, it's giving Takahashi more chances to smash. Good play by Takahashi. I think that's out on both accounts, the back line and the sideline. Service over. Four, seven. Oh. That's out as well. And the shot is indeed out. Challenge so unsuccessful. challenge is unsuccessful from Internet. So now both players have got Nine one five. challenge remaining here in the uh, second game. Close, that is so tight Service by Intenon. Six, nine. Of course, very nice, aggressive, flat drive into the deep forehand of uh, Takahashi. But that finish was close, possibly a little bit too close to comfort. It's interesting to see how Intenon is keeping uh, a lot of her shots uh, very low now, Nine, playing four. to the uh, front court 
and not giving uh, Takahashi any smashing opportunities, just as I mentioned, uh, let's say, five minutes ago. And that has resulted in the fact that she's back level 9 all. And Wellington in this uh, unleashing her attack. It doesn't look like Takahashi can follow. So it's very, very important for Takahashi to get the attack first and see if she can score the winners. Takahashi goes into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-10. And this service error by Rajanog Intiman. And yeah, look at that, just top of the tape. Doesn't meet the mark in terms of the service line. Chances are that uh, Rachinog Intonen will try to add on some pace and pressure here in the second half of the second game. It would never be an advantage for her to play uh, three games. As, uh, these longer matches will just uh, wear her out. So I think it's important for her to close it down in two games. On the other hand, Takahashi needs to do exactly what she's doing there. Beautiful spinning net shot, really taking control of the net, making sure she gets an off lift, and then she has been playing some fantastic winners when she's smashing. So uh, let's see if she can close it down and bring us a third and final game. Good start. First two points after the interval gone to the Japanese. Bad luck for Takahashi. Very proactive. And look at that, just top of the tape. Had that one gone over, it would surely have been a point. A 
pass out. Somehow the focus of Vincent on is gone. The last two points definitely not had her focus. That return of serve was really not very good. It's a great opportunity for Takahashi right into her favorite position, having that wonderful cross court, but this time going too tight. Good body smash here from uh, Sayaka Takahashi. The court needs to be mopped. But a very nice variation, actually, because as I've often said, she tends to go cross court, but this time she's going for the body of Intanon, and it works really well. sideline and here we can see how Internet is adding more focus on the rally. Sayaka Takahashi have reached two semi-finals this year and won two quarter-finals. Quarter-final at the German Open and New Zealand Open and semi-final in the Thailand Open and China Open as we mentioned earlier. Oh, that is wonderful play by Takahashi. Really nicely controlled stay, stay on the forehand. That stay, spinning stay. that shot on the forehand, stay, not stay. easy. Perfect. Chinook Intanon asking for the court to be mopped. 17 all here in the second game. One very convincingly 21 9 in that opening game. Intanon, uh, the youngest ever women's singles finalist at the All England in 2013 when she reached the final at just the age of 18. Yeah, that's way out. Solid play by Takahashi, kept it solid in this rally, no mistakes. Long on the back line, I think chances are that we are treated to a third and final game here.
and two game points has arrived for Sayaka Takahashi, 22 game point 18. Will she be able to repeat her win of last week? She lost, sorry, she won 22-20 in the final game. Saved. Neat to save. Another one here. And that's long on the back line. And it was a good opportunity for Takahashi. So 20 all it is. Saved two game points. Rachel Ginton here in the picture. Will she be able to take the next two and thereby take the second game and the match? And that's out. And it's not only out, it's out by a mile. Third game point for Takahashi. Can she convert this time? Oh. And really well <laughs> saved there by Intanon. That was a cheeky cross court there, but we know her technical abilities are so good that uh, for her, that's just a simple shot. For many other players, it's a very, very risky shot. out we have a Sayaka challenge it's called in. in and uh, Sayaka Takahashi is using one of her challenges here and I think uh, it's uh, good use let's see it's in and match point has arrived for Intamin challenge unsuccessful which means that Internet is 22 match point 21 up. to add on the pressure going for the smashes and the kill at the net there and she makes it winning this quarter final women's singles at Korea Open 21 9 23 21 in 38 minutes so there was going to be no repeat for Sayaka Takahashi this week. Uh, she won last Match week won in China, Changzhou. Here in Seoul. Rajinag Intanon was just too good. Here we've got the confirmation. 21-9, 23-21 in 38 minutes. We will soon move on to the highlights, and from there, the uh, next match coming up is the men's singles. Kento Momota of Japan, the number one in the world, 
against the young player from Malaysia, Li Si Cha. And I will be joined by my good colleague, Joe Clark.